This is what dreams are made of. Big year for you, and it's so funny because last year you hinted that Lizzie McGuire might be coming back at right this exact here, right here, and I got in trouble for it. They were like, you did? yes, they were like, hey, 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 like, no, it's too soon. I feel like you manifested it that night. She was so important to girls at, at a, an important time in their life, and if she could be important to them again at this age, like, I think that would be amazing. It's a dream come true. Yeah, we started filming, and it was a long time coming. Like, I mean, you know, since last year, yeah. um, we, the conversation was like just starting to happen. So. Um, it's crazy. I mean, uh, filming in L.A., one, I'm so excited to have a job in L.A., and two, you know, we, we're having a lot of fun, and it's, it just feels very surreal. We have the family back. We have the family back. What are the chances, and what would it mean if Gordo and Miranda were to be thrown back in the mix? Like, what would you like to see them do if that were to happen? Again? I cannot get in trouble tonight, so I'm just going to keep my mouth shut, and you guys are going to have to watch and follow our journey. Okay. Well, okay, what about this question? My favorite thing growing up and watching Lizzie was that she was a little bit awkward and kind of going through yes. some real struggles. Yes. Now that she's in her 30s, what kind of struggles do we see her go through? Can you answer that? Yeah, I think... That was part of the draw for me of coming back was like the struggles that I feel of being a 30 year old. And obviously we're in very different places. I'm a mother, um, I'm in a serious relationship and she has a lot of those things. Um, she has gained a lot of confidence and she has a really cool career. And you know, she's still, I think she's still gonna be faced with challenging things where in middle school those challenging things seemed funny and simple but relatable at the time and I think now in your 30s it's going to be the same way but it's like slightly heavier slightly bigger things to deal with like she doesn't have kids yet and she you know she there's some surprises in the first episode animated Lizzie does she have an updated look oh, I'm like am I giving stuff away I don't know she's gonna she's gonna stay the same she's gonna stay the same. yeah which I think is is the right thing to do, right? It's yeah. like that pink top. It's so iconic. And, and like platform flip-flops. Yeah, those yeah. like rocket dog flip-flops. I don't know if anyone knows those. Um, but yeah, she has an epic return. And I'm, uh, I'm so excited for everyone to... I, I think she's really going to be a lot of the comic relief in the show. Okay. Yeah. Did you see that Lizzo is hoping for a cameo? I mean, we're hoping to have her. Have you talked to her about this? Um, is the ask out? Well, the ask was out like via Twitter yeah, when she was Twitter. like, yeah, I tweeted, I tweeted back to her yes. um, when I saw her excitement. By the way, I'm never on Twitter, so I was like, how do I navigate this thing? Um, but yeah, I mean, we, I, I think that would be a dream. Yeah. Um, and she's obviously the coolest. So, hi, Lizzo. Is there a chance that Lizzie's engaged to Ethan? Now I was kind of hoping that Lizzie would help out this time. I love the way Ethan says my name. Lizzie, 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 Lizzie. No, she's not currently engaged to Ethan Kraft. Okay, but someone else, like a new a new person. Like in his place? Well, you said that Lizzie's engaged. She, um, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm so bad at playing coy. I'm like an open book. It sucks. It sucks to have a, like people like, don't give anything away. I feel like I'm not helping because I'm also so excited about it that <laughs> I just are feel digging, like... digging at me, and yeah, yeah. It's hard to keep it in all the, the secrets. Um, you know what? It's yes, it is because I'm excited about it too. I, I'm I, I'm a fan, and it's such a big part of of me. And I feel like we want to give everybody what they came for, yeah. um, but we also want to have an updated show that stands apart from that, and it's really a different. It, it's familiar, but it's different, and we, uh, we're we really striving for that, you know? Matthew Coma called you his wife on Instagram, and everyone was like, are they secretly married? Can you set the record straight? Yes. No, we are not secretly married, but we are basically married. So, okay. you know, sometimes, yeah. sometimes those little things slip out. Are you wedding planning right now? I'm not wedding planning right now. We have we have a lot going on, and we're really excited, and we're, like, torn between are we just going to go, like, to the chapel and I don't know like do it or are we going to you know have a little more thought put into it Could you elope um I think our families would kill us yeah okay. you know yeah. yeah and we want the kids to be involved yeah, yeah. yeah so it's we need we, like he's getting ready to leave for tour like I don't How know do when I do it see that guy again I'm shooting it's crazy two shows yeah I mean, 
two kiddos. Four dogs. Four it's dogs. it's a lot right now. You were here last year, the first annual year. You're here again. You're hosting tonight. Yes. What is it that keeps you so involved with Love Leo? Sasha, the founder of Love Leo, has become a really good friend of mine. And um, Sarah, who works with her, who's Michelle Marie PR, and um, she, they work tirelessly. And the, the stuff, if you just merely follow Love Leo Rescue on Instagram, I mean, it's, it's like tears every day. Like, the work that they do is so amazing. I'm so inspired by them. Um, I rescued two of my pups from Love Leo who... You know, I don't know what we would do without them. And um, they, th this event, so many people come out for it. We raise a lot of money, um, and Sasha is just an angel. So you know, I, I wouldn't, I would never not show up unless I physically couldn't. Because your fans will kill me if I don't ask you. New music. Think you're all about me, but I'm all about you. Turn the lights down, let me show you it's true. Okay. No new music. No new music. Have time for that right now? No, I don't. I don't have time for new music right now, and um, I always feel like I'm letting every like I don't know a certain small group of people who still care about my music down. Love your voice. You're so sweet. Maybe I don't know. I never can say no because it could happen. It could happen. <laughs>